Wine in the Kitchen, I'm Johnny Vaccaro. In tonight's episode, I'm going to be making ahi tuna burgers. Thank you so much to all my Facebook fans who voted for tonight's recipe. For those of you who voted for another recipe, don't worry about it. I'll be making those in future episodes. But for tonight, the ahi tuna burgers. This is going to be a delicious meal, perfect for those who maybe don't eat red meat or just have a craving for a different and unique type of burger. I'm using 100% fresh wild caught ahi tuna that is going to pack a ton of protein and healthy fats to tonight's recipe. I'm going to be combining this tuna with some very unique spices and some Asian ingredients like scallions and ginger and soy sauce, combine it all together and pan sear it for an ultimate burger that I know you're going to enjoy. So let's go ahead and check out the ingredients. In tonight's recipe I'm going to be using four cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of sesame seeds, one tablespoon of agave syrup, one whole egg, one tablespoon of soy sauce, a quarter cup of pickled ginger, one and a half pounds of wild caught ahi tuna steaks, minced ginger, and scallions. The first step is to chop up the scallions, which are also known as green onions. After you wash them, just go ahead and chop off the rooted part. We don't need these anymore and we're going to just cut them very finely into little rings. Once we're done cutting these scallions, we're going to go ahead and transfer them into a bowl, a big glass bowl that we're going to use to transfer all of our ingredients once we're all ready to do so. So now that I'm done with the scallions, I'm all ready to cut up the tuna. Let me get it in the fridge. All right, we're using wild tuna tonight and really that's the way to go. No hormones, no antibiotics, it's fresh and it's wild. It is a little bit more expensive but we're going for quality here. So we're using one and a half pounds of tuna steak and this is about one pound here and this guy is about half a pound. This is probably going to make us between four to five burgers, depending on how big you want. So I'm actually going to be using just another cutting board here. And it's really important that your tuna is always going to be kept cold before we start making this burger. So these are all washed up and we dried our tuna and now we're going to cut them into cubes. So I've cut the tuna into one strip and because this is a thick piece I'm actually going to cut it again just like that and in that way I can just cut little cubes of the tuna and keep them consistent that way they're not too big and basically they're going to be just about quarter inch cubes and put these aside. I placed all of the cut up tuna into the bowl with the scallions. I also minced up all of the garlic and the ginger. So now it's time to add these ingredients into the tuna and scallion bowl. I have one whole egg but I'm going to give it a quick stir just to beat it a little bit. And this is going to do a great job at combining all the ingredients together. And I really love this recipe because it doesn't have any fillers. We're not using breadcrumbs or any other starches to get the tuna burger into its shape. We're using simple ingredients 
and that's what's going to make it really delicious because you're going to actually be able to taste the tuna and the ingredients that we're using, not breadcrumbs or something that really will take away from the flavor. So I added the egg and now I'm going to go ahead and add the remainder of the ingredients starting with the garlic. I minced up just about two to three cloves of garlic, which is going to give it that extra flavor. And I also have about one tablespoon of minced fresh ginger that I'm going to put in here. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of sesame seeds, and I have black and white sesame seeds here. And finally, one tablespoon of agave nectar, or you can actually use honey, but either will do. And this is going to have a nice contrasting sweetness as well. Now that all the ingredients are in the bowl, I'm simply going to mix everything all together. And just make sure all the ingredients are well incorporated together. We're all set to cook the tuna and I'm actually going to be pan searing it. So I want my pan to be nice and hot. You can use some peanut oil if you like. I just use some extra virgin olive oil. But you may want to use peanut oil because it doesn't burn at high temperatures. And since we're pan searing this, it's pretty much going to just be a quick 45 seconds on each side. So I'm simply going to take my tuna mixture here, and this will do just uh, looks like it's about three tablespoons in this mixture, and looks like we're starting to get real hot here, and just add it. The colors are amazing, and the smells coming out of this pan are unreal. I can't wait to give it a try. Flip it over after 45 seconds. Looks like it's all ready to go. I'm going to transfer the burger over to the bun. Now that's a couple options today. The first is to use whole wheat buns, which we can go ahead and toast on the barbecue or in the skillet or even in the oven. The second is to use bib lettuce like we used for our chicken recipe last week. If you find that your burger starts to fall apart a little bit, like mine did, looks like it didn't stick together too well, you could actually just scoop it on to the bib lettuce and make some bib lettuce wraps like we did last week using the chicken. And mine kind of broke apart a little bit, so I guess, uh, you know, those fillers really do add something, but one way we could uh, fix this would be to add probably an additional egg. So if that's what you find is missing, please feel free. But otherwise, it still works. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. Oh, that's unreal. What I'm going to go ahead and do is use the bun, and I'm going to use the bib lettuce, just like that. And if you want to put some avocado in there as a topping or some tomato, you can fix it however you'd like. That looks like a delicious burger. And now it's time for my favorite part. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Wow. Now that's a tuna burger. 
the fish is so tender and I just pan seared it so it's not going to be too tough. It's kind of medium rare, if you will, on, in the middle. But if you want to cook it for longer, you can, but it's ahi tuna, so it's really sushi grade tuna that's meant to be medium rare. All the spices worked out really well, but I just remembered I forgot one of the main ingredients. We want to top this with pickled ginger. This is going to make it even better, I'm sure. I love ginger. So I'm going to actually place that there. I can't believe I forgot about it. Whew. I bet the pickled ginger is going to add even more. Sorry, you guys got to watch me eat it again, but let me test it out for you. Mmm. Unbelievable. This is a really great recipe. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. If it, like I said, if it doesn't work out in the bun, you know, serve it in the bib lettuce cups. They'll make perfect bib lettuce wraps with the tuna, and they'll make perfect tuna burgers. So it's almost a dual purpose recipe. I'm very happy with this recipe, and I know you will be too. For everyone out there, thanks so much for joining me on Running the Kitchen. I'm Johnny DeCaro. Catch you guys next time.